mask your last portrait gave me. All right. Now that you've given up all your foolish artistic hopes, what are you going to do with your life? Polish up on my other talents and become an ornament to society. That's where Fred Vaughn comes in, I suppose? Don't make fun. I said his name. You're not engaged, I hope. No. But you will be? If he goes down properly on one knee? Most likely, yes. He's rich. Richer than you, even. I understand. Queens of society can't get on without money, although it does sound odd from the mouth of one of your mother's girls. I've always known I would marry rich. Why should I be ashamed of that? Nothing to be ashamed of, as long as you love him. Well, I believe we have some power over who we love. It isn't something that just happens to a person. I think the poets might disagree. Well, I'm not a poet. I'm just a woman. And as a woman, there's no way for me to make my own money. Not enough to earn a living or to support my family. And if I had my own money, which I don't, that money would belong to my husband the moment we got married. And if we had children, they would be his, not mine. They would be his property. So don't sit there and tell me that marriage isn't an economic proposition, because it is. It may not be for you, but it most certainly is for me.